If you've been watching the SSD market, then you'll already know that Seagate have finally stepped in with some pretty impressive products lately. Most notably, the FireCuda range of NVMe SSDs for both Gen 3 and Gen 4 enabled PCs. If you don't know about them, then you should check out our video, which we'll link in the description, because it's definitely worth a watch. Today though, we're taking a look at the newly released FireCuda 120 SATA SSD. Okay, it's not going to beat out the NVMe drives in outright speed, but SATA SSDs are often more than fast enough for all of the main things you might do like gaming, content creation and general fast storage workloads. They do still offer speeds in excess of 500 megabytes per second, and the big benefit of SATA SSDs is that they tend to be significantly cheaper than NVMe and are much less limited in terms of connectivity, with many motherboards having several SATA ports versus only the odd NVMe slot. So what's special about this one then? Well, having a look at the spec sheet, we can see that everything looks fairly normal for a main brand SSD. Speeds are all very similar as they're more dictated by the limitation of the SATA bus than the SSD. IOPS are pretty high across the board with the FireCuda taking a top spot with 100,000, which is as high as you get with these types of drives, all which we were expecting. The FireCuda is supposed to be a step up from the Barracuda, which competes admirably in the mid-range. Plus, as a bonus, both of the Seagate SSDs come with a five-year warranty, which is never a bad thing. But then we get to this, terabytes written. This is a measure of how much data you can expect to be written during the life of the drive. Looking at the one terabyte drive at 600 TBW, the Barracuda 120 is looking pretty strong against the mainstream competition. It's probably more than most would ever use, but the new Firecuda offers over double that with 1400 TBW. That's more than any other big brand SSD offers, even in their pro level SSDs, which can cost significantly more. This is great news for enthusiast gamers or even more importantly content creators who are making and storing large amounts of files and wanting to be sure their investment pays off long before their SSD wears out and needs replacing. So, is the Firecuda 120 SSD the one to get? Well, at approximately £140 for a 1TB model, it's about £25 more than the Barracuda 120. So if you're a gamer and happy to pay the premium to get the extra endurance, then absolutely yes. But that's not to say that the Barracuda isn't a good option. If you're putting together a PC and budgets are tight, you might be better off making the saving to upgrade something else. However, if you work with large volumes of data all the time, then this is where the Firecuda really shines, being significantly cheaper than anything else in the pro-level market right now, and as much as half the price of an NVMe equivalent. So what do you think? Is this the best SATA SSD on the market? Do you think it's worth buying the Firecuda over the Barracuda? Let us know in the comments. And if you liked this video, give us a cheeky like and make sure you subscribe for more helpful tech videos.